Hey there, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Making Sense of Your Market. Big, big message for you today. You got to listen up and you got to share this with someone that it can help. Promise you, this is not being talked about right now. And this is an opportunity of a generation right now. I'm calling it a generational home buying opportunity. All right. It's Saturday. It's June 10th, 2022. Got three simple messages today. I'm going to get you an update on mortgage rates. Are they up or down week over week? I'm going to share this week's message on this is this opportunity of a generation. I would almost say lifetime, but I'm going to downplay it a little to generational opportunity. And then lastly, we're going to close on week 47 of our 52 week series. We're almost done with this from the best selling self improvement book, the seven habits of highly effective people short 30 second message for you at the end today. What I mean by this generational home buying opportunity. So I made 47 phone calls this last week to real estate agents in King County and Snohomish County. Unanimous across the board that there's a shift in the air. There's a shift in the real estate market. Doesn't mean home values are going down. What it means is there's an opportunity for home buyers. Listen, home buyers have been challenged for the last two to two and a half years. You've had no shot. The home buyers that I've been able to help, we celebrate. It's like, it's a huge victory if you get your offer accepted right now because of the competition and the lack of inventory. All phone call, all the phone calls that I made over the last week with real estate professionals, every single one of them agreed there's more inventory, homes are staying on the, on the market longer, and there's less activity right now because there's more to choose from. And because of the fear in the market, the media is not helping out with this, and I'm gonna share some data with you today that the doggone media needs to start sharing. Number one, this is a generational home buying opportunity because you can buy now home buyers with less competition and more to choose from. Yeah, Dan, but rates are high. Here's the opportunity. Every time there's a recession since the 1940s in the United States of America, since they tracked this, every time there's a recession, money gets cheaper. Mortgage money, mortgage rates get cheaper. I'm putting up a slide right now that proves what I'm talking about. Why the media isn't sharing this, I don't know. We are in a recession right now just starting it. We're going to be full-fledged recession by Q1 of 2023. That means we have about six or seven months for you to, as a home buyer to go and buy a house and then deploy this strategy. Interest rates are in the mid fives right now. Let's say you buy now, you get the house that you want, you get a dual full inspection, you get a pick from two, three, four, five different houses. You may even get to negotiate. I'm not saying it's a buyer's market yet, but you got a little bit more power. One year from now, six months from now, 14 months from now, interest rates drop down into the fours. On this example that I'm sharing with you right now, $900,000 purchase, 5% down, you're saving almost $700 a month. Bought the house that you want without having to pay $100,000, $200,000 over, like we had to over the last couple of years. You stuck with this payment for about six months to a year, and then you get the refinance opportunity to save money. No one's talking about this. Yeah, but Dan, what about the housing market's gonna crash? The housing market's not gonna crash. I talked to numerous economists. In fact, the National Association of Realtors, Mortgage Bankers Association, Goldman Sachs, um, the list goes on, CoreLogic, Zillow, they all estimate home values to go up by five to 8% in the coming year. So home values are gonna continue to go due to the supply demand ratio, right? There's still a lot of people wanna buy, but, you have an opportunity here to buy now with less competition for the next six months, eight months, 12 months, but get, guess what? When rates drop, guess what everyone's gonna do? Go out and buy then. You have an opportunity to buy now and then refinance to a lower rate later. Huge strategy, share this with someone that you know, someone that it might help. Lastly, rates, mortgage rates, they're up just a little week over week. We're in a mid fives, five five to 5.65, still a great time to finance. Don't focus on the rate right now. Focus on the opportunity of a generation, an opportunity almost of a lifetime. All right, week 47, strengthen your body. We don't need to talk a whole lot about this, but listen, negative news is not good. It'll wear down the mind. One of the best things when I get worn down mentally, I get active, I get to the gym, I get the blood pumping, go take a walk. I told my wife this morning, I wanna get back taking walks with her. All right, I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions, reach out to me, share this information. The media should be sharing this as well.